four roads can be quite easy, but the reality of it is that doing them correctly can be a pain on your butt cheeks. So on today's tutorial, I'm gonna debunk exactly what you need to do to do a perfect full row. Hi friend, how you doing? I hope you're doing great, magnificent, terrific, because I am doing so. My name is Panda, nice to meet you, and welcome to my channel, Panda Circus. I have a little question for you. Have you gone outside today and looked around and say, oh my lord Jesus, the day looks so beautiful. I can smell the flowers in the air, even if you can't? No. Well, I'm gonna wait for you so you can go outside and do that like right now. <sighs> Good, now you're back. In today's tutorial, we're gonna debunk once and for all the four row. It's a very simple movement, but doing it correctly will allow you to progress much further. If you understand the four row, you can do a handstand four row, a dive row, a front flip, and much more. But it's very important that you understand a four row perfectly so you can progress to the other movements. It's a basic movement when it comes to tumbling, but remember, all the good athletes, they go back to the basics because the basics is what it gives you the ability to do the most difficult stuff. So every time, go back to basics, my friend, because they will help you very much. The drills pays the bills. Disclaimer, before moving on with this tutorial, you have to do your warm up and stretch. It's very important to warm up your body and tell your brain that it's time to do some movement. Also, to get some blood flowing straight away to those parts where you're gonna need to be using. Just a basic and normal stretch. Start from head to toes, make sure you warm up your wrist and neck because you're gonna be using it quite a while. Quick side note, find yourself a fluffy spot. Like this one I have over here. I found a grass and I put the yoga mattress on top making it much easier and very soft surface that I can land on and use my neck. Step number one, stand in the front of the mattress with your arms up. Put your feet together and keep your arms by your ears at all times. It's always good to practice good form rather than just doing it anyway. Step two, bend your knees and look forward. Place your hands on the mat and hold this position for a while so you understand where you're coming from Chin your chest at all times, very important. Chin to your chest at all times, very important. Chin to your chest at all times. Step three, this is where people get most confused about this. You do a little jump forward and place your upper back almost on your neck on the mat. Make sure you keep your legs straight and point your toes for good practice and also good form. But also for more momentum, Take a look at this next step. Step number four, the pike. Once you jump on the, to the next step, practice finish on this pose called pike. This is where you'll be sitting down with your legs straight. Make sure you point your toes at all times. Remember, good form, good practice will make you do better movements in the future. Step five, final step. After you do this, put all of it together. And remember, at the end, you bend your legs just a little bit, you're gonna touch your hands on your knees, and you're gonna put your whole feet together on the floor, because it will help you to go up in a stand-up position. All right, so we got to this place, to the final step of the four row. But before we move on with the most common mistakes, I just need to say something. If you're watching this video right now, make sure you click the subscribe button and make sure you also hit the like button. My goal with this channel is to dedicate 100% of my time doing what I love, which is circus, and also giving you value on this channel over here. So if you like this video, make sure you don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thank you very much just for watching my video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's move on for the most common mistakes. Most common mistake number one, the nun, aka say a prayer. This happens when you mistake bending your knees to kneeling down, looking like you're about to say a prayer. When you do this, you do not have power to complete the rotation, and it also looks wrong. Mistake number two, Netflix and chill. Happens when you let your body stay loose 
and you end up with your legs on the floor all spread out and sitting down like you're about to watch your favorite show. Mistake number three, dinner's ready. This is when you land on your butt and help yourself with your hand. Just like when someone says dinner's ready and you rush to the dinner table. Well, this is the end of this tutorial, but I just want to reinforce an idea on your brain very quick. This is a very simple movement, yes, but don't always mistake simple for easy. It's very important that you always go back to the drills. The drills will definitely pay the bills in the future. So that's it. Make sure you always go back to the basics. Remember, all good athletes, all good performers, they will come back to the basics. So now I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me that you're actually putting some time to watch my video. Thank you very much for all your views, all your likes, subscriptions and everything. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate the time that you're putting in to watch the stuff I put over here. If you want to, share this video with a friend if it's something that you would like to do. If not, that's okay too. I will not be offended. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next time. Bye!